What's going on and welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into some of my favorite features that DaVinci Resolve 20.1 has added. DaVinci Resolve 20.1 made searching for effects that much easier. So for example, when we were inside the Fusion tab right here, if we needed an effect, we could hit Shift Spacebar and it would bring up our search tool. We could type in whatever we wanted. Let's say I wanted a transform node. It would bring that up. I could add it, drop it in right here, and then I've got it. DaVinci Resolve 20.1 has added this feature to all the pages. So let's hop back inside the edit page here. Instead of having to go to the left over here under effects, and look for it that way, we don't have to mess with that at all. We can now be just on our timeline right here, hit shift spacebar, and it is now going to bring up a search DaVinci Resolve. Let's say I want a title, I'm gonna do that. It's gonna bring me up anything that's along that category. Let's say I want this title right here, I add that. This is now added right inside my timeline without having to go over to the left, hit effects, look for it that way, so on and so forth. It's saving you a lot of time. The second thing that DaVinci Resolve 20.1 made better is being able to pull portions out of a timeline. They've made it easier. So if we wanted to duplicate our timeline or create something from the portions of it, we'd have to either highlight all the clips, copy it, do a new timeline, create new timelines, so on and so forth, paste those in there. It was very time consuming. It's a lot of steps to waste or we could right click on the timeline, uh, you know, duplicate it from there, that's fine. We could also hit Command C, Command V, now we've got a timeline, but the problem is, is this exact same timeline. Maybe we don't want that exact same timeline duplicated, we just want a portion of it. So I'm gonna hit Command Z to get rid of that, we don't want that. Let's say I just want this portion right here, I'm gonna set it in, and I'm gonna set an out point right here. Let's say that's, that's all I want right there, I don't want anything else. Now all we gotta do is right click, create sub clip, and it is going to bring another timeline that is just those clips right there. That's it. That fast, boom, ready to go. Now before we go any further, let's talk about today's sponsor, and that is Motion Array. I have been using Motion Array for a very long time. They have got some amazing things on their website that is there to make your life that much easier as an editor. I really like the video template side of things where I can jump on there, find something that I really like, whether it's for an intro, for a podcast, or whatever it is that I'm wanting, I can find that, curate it to whichever NLE I'm working in, whether it's DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut, you name it, they've got it for all of it on there. Download it, load it inside my editor, fix it the way that I like it, and be able to move on to the next project that much faster. If you are wanting to check out Motion Array, I'll have a link in the description below. Use that link when you sign up and you get two free months on your yearly subscription plan. Thank you so much Motion Array for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. The third thing they add inside DaVinci Resolve 20.1 is rulers and guides. Previously, if I wanted to add a guide or something around there, I'd go to the top, I'd hit this little drop down and it would show me my safe areas. It didn't have a ruler or a guide section. Now they do, right here, they've got ruler, I can click that, it's got that as well, as well as I can click guides. And you may be wondering, well, what does the guides do? If I grab that now, I can bring my guide on the screen somewhere like this and just bring these bars around. Let's say that's cool, I wanna do some more, something like that. And I know I now want to do a lower third right here. No matter where I am putting a title or anything like that, it is now going to be perfectly in that spot. When I don't need it anymore, then I just shut it off. But when I want it on, boom, it's on. And if I want to only have the guides on, not the rulers, I can unclick that, boom, just like that. It's a very small thing, but it saves so much time than having to do that, move it over or double up your titles and try to make sure it's exactly spot on. This, awesome. The fourth thing is they've made the keyframes easier to adjust and get to. So if I had keyframes, I could go up here to the top left and I could see my keyframes were on that clip. I could adjust them, that's fine, whatever, so on and so forth. It was nice. However, it kind of took me out of it as well as I wanted more capabilities to adjust it, more freedom. Now they've got it on the timeline right here. They've got a keyframe button. 
I can click show keyframe tray, boom, it's gonna bring me that right there. And I really like that everything is laid out. You've got all the transform keyframes, you've got all the cropping, you've all got the composite, you've got lens corrections, speed. You can also change the parameters by clicking the three dots and in here you've got video you can see that you can uncheck a lot of these if you don't want them i want to see all of them let's say we want to display parameters with keyframes so this is only going to show what has keyframes making it a lot easier to see and then of course if we want to smooth this out or even speed ramp something we can now do the keyframe curve click that right here and we could grab it adjust it however we want let's say we want to smooth it out we could right click on it and now we've got all these shortcuts right here to smoothing it out it's a lot simpler and it's a lot easier especially if I had music sitting right here I could see how I wanted to curve that to it to a lot of people it doesn't seem like it's that big of an update but for me it is really saving me a lot of time. Well, that's it for me today. Again, I am just scratching the surface when it comes to DaVinci Resolve 20.1 and any of the updates they've done. There are so many other ones. These are just the main ones that I've really focused on that has made my life that much easier. If you wanna learn more about DaVinci Resolve, I'll have a playlist that'll pop up somewhere on the screen as well as I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, that's it for me. If you wanna check out Artlist, link in the description below as well. You're amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. See y'all next time. Peace.